Hi everyone, Anjita this side. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In the previous video, we saw how we can execute both Cypress and Playwright test case within the single project. In this video, we will learn how we can run them in CI CD pipeline. So while there are many tools in the market, in this video, we'll be using GitHub Actions. So GitHub Actions is a CI CD platform using which you can build, test, and deploy your code on GitHub repo. There are different components of GitHub Actions. So the first one is workflows. So workflows is basically a YML file in which you can write your jobs, you can write your different events, you can pass the name of the workflow. In workflow, it can be a single job or there can be multiple jobs as well. Like I mentioned, there can be event also in a workflow. So event is basically an activity that triggers a workflow. For example, you're pushing your code to the GitHub repo and automatically your test case would be executed on CI CD pipeline. So pushing your code is basically a trigger action over here. Then we have jobs which consist of multiple steps. So steps are like installing a node version or installing the dependencies. So in order to understand more, you can go to the official website of this GitHub action. So this is the official website and you can see over here the component description, like this is a diagram in which they have explained we have event in a single workflow, we have event, we have jobs. So jobs can be sequential or jobs can be parallel also. So inside the jobs, we have steps. So steps, like I mentioned, it can be for installing node version or installing Cypress or installing Playwright. Like there can be multiple steps in a single job. Okay. And this workflow files are actually defined by a YML file. And it needs to be present into your GitHub repo. So the prerequisite is you need to have a GitHub repo in order to configure the CI CD using the GitHub actions. And it has to be in this directory, which is dot GitHub slash workflows. Now let's go to our editor and let's start with the code. So first step is we will create a workflow file for Cypress. And then later on, we'll create a file for Playwright. So let's go to terminal and create a directory, which is dot GitHub. So I will use the command mkdir dot github and with this you can see dot github directory got created inside it i will create a folder like we saw on the official website it has to be inside this directory which is dot github workflows you can see over here now inside this you can write all your yml files so let's create the first workflow file for cypress so i'll name it as cypress into win dot yml so the first line is we will write the name of the workflow file so name we can pass anything. Let me pass Cypress end to end test. Now, the next step is we will pass an event. So let's pass the event as push. So that means whenever you will push your code automatically, this workflow file would be triggered. The next step is we will create jobs. So you can pass the job name over here. Pass it as Cypress run. We have to pass the different steps inside this workflow file for the installation of the Cypress in order to run the test case. For that, what we can do, we can search for a sample cypress github action and copy over here so just go to google and search for the cypress github actions like i mentioned click on the first link there are multiple examples so what you can do you can just copy from here until here and i'll explain you the workflow file so run on means it is running on this virtual machine then we have steps so the first step is basically for the checkout that means it will check out the code from your github repo Next step is to install npm dependencies and run all the Cypress test case. For that, we have a single GitHub action. So uses is basically your GitHub action. So I hope it is clear. It is a very simple file in which you pass the name of the file. You pass the event and event is push. Then we created a job, created the name of the job as Cypress run. We pass the virtual machine on which we want to run it. Then after that, we pass the steps. So first is checking out the code from GitHub repo and then running your Cypress test case. Now what we will do, we will push this code to our GitHub repo and then we will see if this workflow is getting triggered or not. Now let's go to terminal and push the code. So first of all, we will use git status to see what all the files which we changed. So we can see dot GitHub got added. We will use command git add dot. It will basically add all your files. Next command is to commit the code. So we will use git commit hyphen m. Pass your message and then commit your code. And the final thing is we will push our code. So I'll use git push. 
now your code would be pushed to your remote server let's go to github repo and see our code so this is my github repo if i refresh the page so over here you can see this is the commit which we did and in order to see the workflow from here go to the actions tab and over here you can see the workflow file got added and it got executed also and this workflow file if you click on this you can see this is the name of our job and the, the summary also you can see this is coming from the github action which we used we can see the result one test case got passed and if you want to see the detailed log you can just click on this one and inside this you can see all the steps like they have step for checkout we also had step for cypress run and inside it you can see your test case got executed on this browser which is electron browser because it was running on the headless mode right and we had one test case this is the name of the test case and it got passed and you can see the details over here okay so this is how you can run your cypress test case on ci cd using github actions fine the next step is we will create a workflow file for playwright also so let's go to editor and start creating a yml file for playwright here inside the workflow files i'll create one more file and i will name it as playwright end to end dot yml the same thing we will do over here also first of all we will name it so i'll name it as playwright end to end test then we will pass the event as push now the next step is jobs let's pass the name of the job let me pass it as so this is your job name and then the rest of the code let's just copy the code from the official website so go to google and search for playwright github actions and click on the first link from here what you can do you can just copy from here until here and just go back to your editor we can paste directly to so make sure the formatting is correct otherwise it will throw error it needs to be in proper format over here what we have done this is our job name next step is runs on which basically means you are running on which virtual machine this is ubuntu latest then we have steps so our first step is to check out the code so it depends on you if you want to pass a name of the step or you want to ignore it but here there is no name passed and we have directly passed the github action next step is to install the node version so for that we have used this github action which is set up node at the version 3 and we have defined the node version also next step is to install the dependencies so these are the steps which we need to pass in order to run your playwright test case so then we are installing the dependencies and then we are installing the browser to run your playwright test case on the ci cd and then we have a command to run your playwright test case which is basically npx playwright test and in the end we are uploading the report to that workflow so we have passed the condition if always which means even if your test case got failed then also we will upload the report to your workflow so this is pretty simple very easy to use and you can check once again it's just name event and the virtual machine on which you are running and then we are passing the different steps which are required to run your playwright test case on the ci cd server so let's add this code as well and let's go to github repo and verify if it is also working fine or not so first of all let's go to terminal let's see what all files we added so we'll check the status so it's a single workflow file so i'll use the command git add and then i will commit my code now let's push the code you should know basics of git like how to add a file how to commit a file and how to push your file now let's go to github repo and and we'll see if it got executed or not so we are already in the actions tab and now you can see two workflow files got triggered this is the name of your workflow file this is playwright end to end test and this is cypress end to end test let's see the playwright end to end test which we just added just click on this one and it will show you the detail logs so install dependency step is executed now it's installing the playwright browsers so once your browsers are downloaded you can see over here Firefox, Chromium, WebKit, and now it's running your test case. So you can see the command npx playwright test and running the three test using the one worker. That means it's testing on the different all the three browsers, which is Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit, but in a test case only. So once this is executed, your reports would be available and will be added to your workflow file. So how we can see that? Go to the summary of the workflow, and over here you will see a zip folder. This is basically your playwright report. If you click on this, so this zip folder will be downloaded, and now you can extract and check the report of this playwright test case. 
Fine, let's see it. This is the report of the test case. My test case name was registration flow and here we can see it got executed on Chromium, Firefox and WebKit and duration also you can verify from here how much time it took to execute on this browser. We can clearly check from here. So let's go to editor. So what we did, we created two workflow files, one for Cypress and other one is for the Playwright. Now let's create one more workflow file using which we will run both Cypress and Playwright test case using the single YML file. So let me name it as end-to-end test.yml. Over here also we'll do the same thing. We will pass the name of the workflow file. So let me pass it as Cypress Playwright test. Next thing is the event. We are going to pass the event as push for now. So you can pass any event, whatever you want. For example, you want to run your test case with every pull request, you can change the event over here and change it to pull request. Next step is jobs. So now here is the main part. So inside the jobs, you can create maybe a single job in which you can execute both Playwright and Cypress test case, or you can create multiple jobs also so that Cypress and Playwright test case both will be executed in parallel. So for first job would be running the Playwright test case. For that, what we can do, we can just go to this Playwright end-to-end -end file and copy from here. So either you can create fresh, but we just created this one. So it's better we can utilize this one. So let's paste over here. So this is first job. Now for the second job, for the Cypress one, I will copy from here. So copy from the job name until the last step. Now let's paste it over here. So if you collapse this one, you would see one for the Cypress and one for the Playwright. And there's one more thing what we can do. So inside this, we have this command, which is npx playwright test. But in case if you want to run any customized script also, what you can do, go to your package.json, create a script if you don't have. In this case, we already have a script because we created in the last video. So just copy the script name from here. So this is my script name, which is playwright test headless. Go to your YML file. Instead of npx playwright test, what we can do, we can just run the command npm run and pass your script name. So it's the same thing which we are doing on the local machine. We're just trying to achieve a similar thing on CI CD pipeline as well. So now it will be running this script. Similar thing we will do for Cypress as well. So inside Cypress, what we will do, we already have a GitHub action. So in this case, we are going to use the syntax with command. And now we will pass customized script to run your Cypress test case. So I will pass over here npm run. And what is the script name? You can copy the script name from package.json. So let's copy from here. Let's go back inside this. And now this is my script, which is coming from the package.json. Otherwise, what happens with Cypress, if you do not provide the command, automatically it will be running npx Cypress run, which basically executes all your test case which are inside your Cypress end-to-end -end folder. But if you want to customize it, if you have a customized script for it, you can pass it like this also. So in this workflow file, what is happening? We have two jobs which will be executed in parallel. And these two jobs are basically running your script from package.json. Now let's go back to terminal and let's push this code as well. So I'll quickly check what all files we changed. So single file. Now I will just add this file. The next step is to commit the code. So the final step is pushing your code. So I'll use the command git push. Once this is done, go back to your GitHub repo. So this is my GitHub repo. Go to the this actions tab. And over here, you can see three workflow files getting triggered. So this is my first one, which is Cypress end-to-end -end test. Then we have Playwright end-to-end -end test. And now this is the one which we just created, which is Cypress plus Playwright test. So although we just changed a single file, but we can see three workflow files got triggered. Why? The reason behind this is, we have this event which is on push. So whenever you will push the code to your main branch or master branch, so automatically the workflow would be called. So we can see the Cypress file got executed. Now it's running both playwright and end-to-end -end test case. Let's click on this end-to-end -end test case. And here you can see both playwright and Cypress running, but these both are running in parallel. It's not like sequential. We have created a parallel job over here and you can see Cypress test case got executed first. Now Playwright is getting executed and we can just click on this one. And if you want to see the detail log, you can see directly from here. 
so by having this parallel job we can just speed up our test execution and it's particularly useful when you have large number of test suites so again you can go to action staff and you can see all the workflows which got triggered and this is on the main branch so you can customize this as per your project requirement if you want to trigger it on the pull request you can pass that also if you want to pass the branch name you can pass the branch name as well inside trigger app so you can use this one to configure the ci cd pipeline using github actions in your project and it's very beneficial whenever you push the code automatically it will be triggered you're passing the event test push or if in case of pull request or you can also schedule it so there are multiple events you can read about it from the official website but you can directly use it in your project and it will be really helpful and if you find the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and if you have any query any suggestion feel free to add it in the comment box thank you for watching